have agreed with the new FIA-backed worldwide series for electric racing cars, electric engine versions of these sorts of cars, that they will base their entire global operation here at Donington Park. Firstly with their own headquarters building for their own offices and stores and spare parts, but also to provide 10 race workshop units for the 10 teams who are coming from all over the world in order to be here. But the whole purpose of the series is to take electric motorsport to the capital cities of the world. The British motorsport industry is worth nine billion pounds to the UK economy. It employs approximately 50,000 people. To bring in 165 jobs and to bring in that global leading technology to Donington Park is for us a complete game changer. One of the things we were talking about yesterday is um, feeding all the extra people who will be permanently on site seven days a week and through the night. There are catering opportunities. We took to them yesterday a document that gave them the name of every local estate agent, every doctor, every dentist, every school. People are going to be moving here from all over the world and this core of technology will attract further technology and further investment in that area of this and this area and uh, I'm really sure about that. So we would hope that it's a win-win for the people of North West Leicestershire. Donington Park is a key part of our local economy and of the world and for the Formula E to come here to me is just the best news ever. It's a very lucky fit really. I mean we, we, we've always had a green agenda for the last eight years to promote green initiatives and we've also wanted to support Grand Prix and the future of Donington so actually you couldn't have wished for a better outcome for us. The first time I saw it was on TV the other night on the news and I thought it was fantastic news. Uh, I think it'll be really good for the village, it'll be good for the businesses. Any extra business that comes to Castle Donington, which is growing anyway, we have many new businesses in the area, is good for the area. I think they bring money uh, for people like myself. The village is growing, I think it's good for employment and I think it's good for the local people too. Uh, well, I only view it as a positive news route. With up to 200 new people coming to the area, obviously there will be demand for new and second-hand homes in the local area in Castle Donington. I spoke yesterday with the team managers of the Virgin team and the team known as Venturi Automobile, in which Leonardo DiCaprio has an investment. He is a great green enthusiast and is very keen on electric vehicle technology. Um, I would expect all the team principals to be here at some stage to watch the testing, but I've already agreed with the female members of my staff I'm not going to tell them when Leonardo's coming. <laughs>